miss you Oh, you've been in my life for two days But those days were the closest to a dream I could ever get Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will teach you how to create this gorgeous monochromatic brown look. So let's get started. To begin with, I will prep my skin using this plum grapeseed sea buttercup oil. It will moisturize my skin really well. And then I will go over with the next step which is concealing all the problematic areas on my skin and for that i'll be using my maybelline age rewind concealer in the shade honey i will apply the concealer on the required places and blend it really well and then i will top it over with my foundation i am using the mac water weight foundation in the shade nc37 it is a medium coverage foundation but you can definitely build on it and that is exactly what i'm going to do I will blend my foundation using this contour brush from Mini. So I actually got it uh, for contouring, but I love using it as a stippling brush. Blend your foundation really well and always do that in the direction of your natural hairline. After stippling the foundation from the brush, I will go over with a beauty blender because this will erase any kind of line if created and also take out all the extra product from the face. Next, I'll prepare my eye base using the Maybelline concealer in the same shade and then I will take my color bar contour and highlight pan and I'll take this fluffy brush from Real Technique to basically just spread this brown color all over my eyelids. I'll spread this color evenly all throughout my eyelid making sure that it is well blended especially on the corners. Taking the Lakme Iconic Kajal in the shade brown, I will apply it just like we apply the eyeliner. You just don't have to be very perfect and you have to make sure that you create good pigmentation over there. And then taking my Pack Sponger Brush 202, I will take a little brown color on it and I will blend my uh, Kajal pencil with it so it will give it like a really nice blended effect. Then I'll take this brown color matte eyeliner from Color Bar and apply a really thin eyeliner. The idea is to create a transformation from light to dark. And then I'll take the Maybelline gel pencil in the shade Nude. It really pops open my eyes and I love the effect it has on it. Then I'll take this eyebrow filler powder from Nykaa. This has recently become my favorite and I am going to fill my eyebrows really well because I don't like sparse eyebrows. This step of concealing below the eyebrow gives my eyebrows a really clean look and I love that. The eye makeup is almost done and it's now time to add some color to your cheeks. I am sticking to my regular cinnamon color because the whole look is brown and I want to stick to the same palette. Uh, for blush, my only advice is smile really well and then apply the blush on the apple of your cheeks and take it backwards. That is the best way of applying a blush. I'll contour my face using my same color bar contour kit and this Vega uh, contour blend brush and I am going to like really count contour my face well because I will have a nice chiseled look. After applying and blending my contour through the brush, I always go over with the beauty blender so that it picks up all the excess product and blends the contour really well with the blush on and I always do it in the upward motion. Then I'll take this oval brush from Nykaa and I'll use it for my nose contouring. I recently ordered this one and I was very excited to use it. To set my base really well, I will go over with my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I'll spray it all over my face, let it dry and then I will dab the highlighter over it and I'll be using my favorite Makeup Revolution highlighter paired with this fan brush from Nykaa. Uh, the idea of applying a highlighter just after you've applied a fixer is to really get that blinding glow on your cheeks and all the other high points.
Time to groom my eyelashes, something that I love doing the most. I'll be using my most trusted Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in the shade Black. And I'm going to apply like a ton of coats on my eyelashes because I want them all standing and alert. I'm going to apply two brown color lipsticks on my lips and both of these are from Color Bar. The whole idea is to give it a really nice brown color which is going to seal the whole look together. And with this, my makeup is complete. This is the final look. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do write your valuable feedback. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you love watching my videos and do press the notification bell. I will see you again with a new video. Until then, bye-bye, take care and lots of love.